If you've had any sort of interaction with Guitar Social Media over the last two years, you'll probably have heard of the Spark, launched at the tail end of 2019. This desktop unit was the first hardware combo guitar amp from software amp specialist Positive Grid, and with its clever companion app and tones borrowed from PG were regarded by software, it promised to be the ultimate practice amp. Fast forward to 2022 then, and Positive Grid has launched the Spark Mini, a scaled-down version of the 40-watt Spark that promises to pack in everything that people love about the original into a smawler and genuinely portable package. So, at the boffins at PG made another hit, and does the Spark platform as a whole live up to the seemingly unending hype? Well, let's find out. What are the differences between the Spark Mini and the Spark? First up, some vital statistics for you. The Spark Mini is roughly one-third the length and a smidge shorter and deeper than its 40-watt sibling making it roughly the size of a small studio monitor or a smart speaker like the Sonos One or Echo Studio. Physics dictates that some changes from its larger sibling are inevitable, and so instead of a pair of 4-inch full-range speakers and 40 watts of power, here we get 10 watts of Class D power pumping through two 2-inch drivers and a passive radiator on the bottom. A very important addition, more on that later. The differences don't end there. We mentioned portability being a key aspect of the Spark Minus proposition and so rejoice in being freed from the tyranny of plug socket thanks to a 3000M rechargeable battery that promises up to 8 hours playtime at low to moderate volumes. Obviously this opens up a wealth of alfresco playing possibilities, and you're helped on your way thanks to the addition of a reversible suede slash leather. The real kind, sorry vegans carry handle to make the mini a literal grab and go affair. Being a third smaller than the 40 watt spark does come with some unavoidable compromises on the control front. However, there's simply no room on the condensed control panel to fit the 17 knobs, buttons and switches that adorn the original. But even so the Menace 3 knobs feel a touch aesthetic, there's no tone stack or gain control here. Simply controls for guitar volume, music volume and a rotary switch to select one of the four signal chain presets that can be stored on the hardware at any one time. Round the back you'll also find 3.5M jacks for headphones and an aux stand while a USB-C port does double duty as both the charging port and the means to use the Mini as a recording interface, as well as a means of updating the firmware. Holding down the Bluetooth pairing button also activates a tuner. The Spark Mini uses the same iOS slash Android app as its 40-watt sibling, but clearly with less control on the unit itself, that app experience is going to be all important. Let's dive in. Hands on, in the last decade, We've all become accustomed to a certain level of polish when it comes to our gadgets that belies how hard it is to make the sort of seamless and intuitive user experience a reality, something that's tripped up many an MI brand trying to make the leap into consumer electronics in the last few years. While opening the Spark Mini might not have the fear of unboxing a new iPhone, there's something reassuring about the way the amp feels in your hands, the clean lines, the expertly applied black tolex and gold piping. It's also available in pearl white. Even the way the knobs twist it feels like a quality product. This positive impression continues to the setup, which is a breeze. Simply download the Spark app to your phone or tablet, turn the amp on, hit the pairing button, and within seconds you'll be on your way. You'll need to pair it a second time to stream audio from your device, but that's all handily explained within the app and once you've done it you'll never need to faff with it again. Sounds, for those of us who grew up on tiny practice amps that sounded like the proverbial wasp in a jam jar. It's easy to look at the Mini and wonder how something this small can sound good. Well, friend, put those preconceptions aside and prepare to have your mind blown. The Spark Mini doesn't just sound good for a small practice amp. It doesn't just sound good for modeling amp. It's just a great sounding amp. Full stop. No qualifications. Key to this, of course, are the onboard amp and effects tones. And there's no doubt that the bias pedigree of these sounds is a huge boon. There are over 30 different amp types available, running the gamut from golden ear archetypes to modern boutique gems and high gain fare, all of which sound top-notch. But there's more to it than just software. This thing sounds big in a way that no small amp has any right to do, certainly not one with just a pair of two-inch drivers behind that basket tweave grill cloth. Ah, but of course, there's not just a pair of two-inch drivers. Remember our friend the passive radiator? This, nestled between four custom damping rubber feet on the base of the amp, might be the secret to the Minas Magic, also known as a drone cone. The passive radiator uses the enclosure's internal SBL to create improved low-end frequencies that normally wouldn't be possible for such small speakers. Put the Mini on a hard surface and the results speak for themselves. There's a roundness and punchiness to the bass response that sounds, and most importantly feels, like a real full-size amp, even with high-gain sounds that can so easily feel boxy with small speakers. It's also strikingly loud. It might not have the headroom of the 40-watt version, but there's still plenty to use here and enough volume that could certainly annoy the neighbors, if not quite wake them out. Crucially, 
It also sounds just as good at polite and even whisper quiet volumes. Thanks for watching this video.